the final match of the white group, Vera Zvonareva took on Jelena Jankovic in a match that would determine who finished top of the group. Zvonareva was the runner-up in Doha in February and obviously enjoys playing in the desert city. But on this occasion it was the world number one that made the better start, racing through the first set 6-2. With nothing to lose, the Russian found another level in the second set. Playing some outstanding shots to level the match up. And with things all tied up in the third, it was once again the Russian that was able to up her game when necessary, lobbing her opponent to edge closer to victory. The Serb did her best to match the world number nine, but with her back still hurting, she seemed to be lacking in energy. And as the clock ticked past the two hour mark, Zvonareva recorded her second career victory over a world number one, winning 2 6, 6 3, 6 4 to finish top of the group. Of course it was a great win for me and uh, it was a great fight as well so till the last moment uh, you know I didn't know who's, who's gonna win you know I was just I was just fighting and then finally when um, I hit my shot and uh, her ball went into the net I was uh, I realized that I won the match. Yelena Dementieva was meant to be playing Serena Williams in her last group match but when the American retired it was left to Nadia Petrova to fill the gap. The alternate started well, breaking to lead 3-1. But from then on, Dementieva hit back to take the first set 6-4. Petrova was playing for pride more than anything else and did everything she could to make a match of it. Sealing the second set to level things up and force a decider. The Olympic champion was already guaranteed a semi-final spot thanks to Serena's withdrawal but wanted to prove she deserved it and quickly raced to a three-love lead in the third. And while she struggled to close out the match, she eventually came out on top 6-4, 4-6, 6-4 in two hours and 20 minutes. She'll now face the informs Zvonareva in the semi-finals. <laughs> I think she's playing unbelievable this week, you know, she really likes to play in Doha, she was in the final, you know, in the beginning of the year, losing against Maria Sharapova, so I think she, she likes it here and it's going to be a tough match because she feels really comfortable and physically she looks very strong. The final match of the day also included a player making her debut at the Sony Ericsson Championships as Agnieszka Radvanska replaced the off-colour Anna Ivanovic to take on Svetlana Kuznetsova. Radvanska had been waiting for her chance to play all week and when it came, she quickly made the most of it, easing through the first set 6-2. The second was a much tighter affair as both players looked to finish the tournament on a high. But again, it was the pole who looked more composed. And with the Russian seemingly off form this week, Radvanska took her opportunity to record an impressive victory. Final score, 6-2, 7-5.